<laughs> Good uh, morning, guys. Thumbs up the video if you um if you if you got scared. It's kind of a delayed reaction. Look at Sky. She's like, take my blanket off. Gabby, all blankets off. All right. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Monday. It is grain day, which basically means that I had to do all the grain bags for the barn. <sighs> Worst job, but I'm done complaining about it, as you guys all know. <laughs> I'm a complainer at heart. I can't help it. I'm like the kind of person that always has to get it out if I'm feeling frustrated. But the thing is that I hardly ever feel frustrated because I know God is good. And I feel blessed to be able to wake up every day and see any miracle that is about to happen. And the miracle of today is that we're going to get to see our horse's naked bodies. And the bad part about today is that last night Gabby put two blankets on Chino and he'd be sweating. Oh, I left it on. Yeah, so we have to go there. I don't know how that's going to work. You're going to be Ooh, naked. Car. Naked pony alert. Appaloosa pink cross. So you guys know that Sky was having a lot of trouble fighting with the ponies and guarding the food. We haven't really, we haven't really taken her blanket off. You would think that a horse guarding food would uh, be chubby. In reality, when you spend all your time running to chase horses off, and you spend all your time guarding food, you don't get much time to eat. Maybe I should start guarding food. It will work for me. <laughs> I know. I would eat it. I would eat it. Like, who am I kidding, right? Right. So let's see how skinny or chubby you are. Does she look perfect? Yeah, she's, yeah, she's perfect. I want to. I want to groom her. She's a bit chubby then. Oh, she's. I don't know. A bit thin. None of them be looking chubby. And we give her so much food too. It's just crazy. Yeah, give her a lot of good brushing. Look at those long legs though. She definitely has long legs. Dad put hay out for the ponies. This is how I were walking on, but with the hay. Oh, on, Dad like, got it all set up for like us. This when you walk and you. I know and those are like ankle killers for sure. Yeah, I almost just. Imagined. Yeah, don't walk on them. So we put a. I mean, we ob obviously we put our hay up off the ground so it doesn't get destroyed and so there's airflow but the hay the excess hay goes underneath uh, it and I've built it up don't trust dad don't trust dad why one of my dreams was dad went down to let the ponies out and he put um sky with gracie and then they're all by herself and then what happened i don't know yeah, last night Cookie barfed in Sophie's bed and all of a sudden I heard Sam bolt awake and I heard Sophie say, Daddy, can you help me? Right? No, Dad, can you tuck me in? Dad, can you tuck me in? I'm like, what's happening? And he's like, Sophie wants me to tuck her in. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she she got her, him there and then once he was in the room with her, he she, she, <laughs> she hit him with, surprise! <laughs> in my bed good call Sophie all right so you guys remember this thing we had this thing we had this thing here long ago we had this thing here long ago when um, we first brought our horses home because Stella needed a small paddock I know on camera this paddock looks so super tiny this is probably double the size that our boys are in right now. It's a nice sized paddock. It's not super small. That is not super small. I found it. I need this as a weapon. No, it's my weapon. When you guys don't behave. But look at that rope. Isn't it kind of loose? No. Why is it you like think that? Is going to jump the bottom one? Yeah, I think Willow will. <laughs> Willow will jump, jump right between that. there. Is this electric? Touch it. <laughs> you touch it. It is. The yeah. top one's supposed to be. Oh, that's okay. the top one. Which is thingy. And it stays electric. It's a I thingy. It's, it's a musical instrument. It stays electric. It's a flute. It's a flute. It stays electric. Even when you take the hook off. Like, that's because it's attached to here. If you took this off, like the hook here, it would not be electric. All right, so you guys know that we've been having trouble. So yesterday when I was at the barn, we're good. yesterday when I was at the barn with the girls, Sam tried to 
rig this up again. It took him for a long time. The ground is frozen. He had to put this pole in here. And we're gonna try and separate the ponies and let them all be outside. So Sky, who will have a blanket on most of the time, will have this big, huge rectangle back here. I know it looks small, but trust me, it's okay, especially for winter. Um, and then the ponies will have this smaller section in the front and the arena. So hopefully they don't go in the arena though, because then just, Sky will be alone. I think we should just cut that end off and make it so that every pony can go inside. Yeah, but anyway, so that's what we're gonna try today. It's gonna be nerve wracking because our horses and ponies jump fences. They don't care if they're electric. They jump them to be together. And I get that that's okay. And I get that that's normal behavior, but it sucks because I really wanna keep them separate. I wanna build our horses back up. They, they had a rough winter with getting used to Sky. But contrary to popular belief, I really like her a lot. So yesterday when we were riding, icicles were falling Wait, off the roof. Yeah, the snow was falling. Put it all down there. Down yeah, there. yeah, good job, you just Gabby. Along there and you find icicles. She's like, don't boss me around. I know what I'm doing. Well, that's an interesting way to fill water. I never put the water on and then leave it. So we need to get a bucket of water for Sky. Right, time to move the buckets around. If this works, that'll be Sky's paddock for a while. So I want to have a big bucket out there for her. Oh, that's dirty. Gracie be looking good. Good girl, Grace. I feel like coming out of winter, everything's like a gross mess. It's a hard thing. All right, let's see. Oh, look at how pretty. Or she's saying no. no. She looks okay. She's got some like long hair and some thin hair. Here we go. She's like, get me back my blanket. It's cold out here. No, not yet. She's confused. She's like, this is no. Go turn the fence on. Look at her, she's going to Gabby for protection. I think we should do Liberty with her. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me. Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go She's such a calm horse Like she never freaks out She's snorting. Oh, she's thinking she'll jump it. Oh, she's getting mad now. Get the ponies out. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me. Say that you won't go. I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go It's been so cold without you here We barely said goodbye before you disappeared I want you back here with me 
we never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you The thing with horses is that just when you think you outsmarted them, they will find a way the to be the winner. Like Challenge accepted, Sky says. Yeah. So we'll be watching them. We'll be watching them out the window, see what happens. But so far, everybody looks happy. I swear to God, though, the horses are like, wait, wait for them to leave, and then we'll break free. I feel like, like, they know. I feel like they feel really calm when we're down here, though. Like, they love us being here and being noisy. I feel proud of us, you guys. I do, like, nothing about horses is easy, nothing. But I feel proud. Every little tiny victory makes my heart so happy, even if it's short-lived. <laughs> pray, pray it works out. You missed it. What? Sky rolled. Aw. I let you go up and shook, and then Willow rolled. Aw. Look what was in Sky's hay. That was in Sky's hay. In her hay. And Sophie got it out. That is disgusting. What do you think it was? I don't know. Dad says they might have scooped it up with the hay. Yeah, probably. Obviously. It's disgusting. Add it to but our group I know, of... I already did. You know how people, farmers, always have to worry about mice in their barns? Yeah. In winter in Canada, like you Look do not difference. see mice ever. It's Look just too cold. Yeah, so this is a jaw of a raccoon. And this is a job. Something. Yeah, it's so gross. Probably their cat. <laughs> That's even more gross. We were pretty much done. Girls are just putting hay in the stalls. I like Sky a lot, you guys. I don't want to give up on her. That's not my intention. As long as we can figure it all out, I plan to keep her as long as Fiona needs me to. But I do kind of crave a time when we just have ponies at home. So we tried to do a good thing and take the ponies' blankets off because it's warm out. And then it started raining, so the girls were rushing down. That's the thing about homeschool, you guys. When you gotta rush down and save the ponies, you gotta do it. Sam parked the trailer in a bad spot, so I can't really see. But I do not see Sky. We've been watching out the window to make sure everything's okay. I see Ruby. <laughs> this is the most fun I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that Gabby's down there cursing. <laughs> Sometimes, as a parent, these are the only really happy moments that you get when you're dealing with your children. Let's see if Sophie can catch Willow. I mean, it's not that hard. You just put your hand out and pretend you have a treat. Or you actually just go get a treat. I've learned so much more about weather since getting horses. If it is gloomy and it's supposed to be plus 7 degrees and you think, wow, it's going to be so warm. Yeah, it's not. 
It all depends on the sun. And just when you think you've got it down pat, it changes again. Like weather, horses, everything about horses is hard, you guys. Every single thing about horses is hard. All right, we are headed to the barn, see our boys. Today worked out really well with Scott. Other than the fact that it was raining, I hate that for her. Like, that's the problem. Horses are problems. There's a general theme in this vlog. Horses are hard. My horse is gonna be soaked. Yeah, the horses are probably gonna be wet. But yeah. <sighs> I'm so tired of wearing heavy coats and heavy boots and heavy everything. I'm ready for spring. All right, let's go to the barn. You guys I'm ready? ready? Who are you riding? Finn. Who are you riding? Chino. Finn, why you be so spooky? Yeah, Sophie brought a shedding blade. No. A bucket of shedding. A stuff. bucket of shedding stuff. Because this boy be so spooky. You are wet. Mm. Sorry, you're wet. His head's not that wet. He's like, show me the treats if you're really sorry. Apparently, there's a puppy in here. I don't see it. Oh my god, I see it. So you guys might not know this, but Brandon is a animal lover of all animals. Oh, it's okay, little puppy. Oh my goodness. I bet it's a boy. He always rescues and saves boys. Let's take a look. I know it's rude for somebody to just come up. It's a boy. Wait, I can't tell. Are you a boy? I have to lift you up. He's like, okay, you want to be friends? Hi, puppy. Obviously, he's a little dashing. Isn't he cute? I had to text Brandon and see if I can pick him up. Cat is in my way. Change my mind. If you leave a puppy, you are fat. If you leave a puppy in the tack room, then people are going to pick it up. Come here. Oh my god. It's so cute. It's a boy. I knew it. Brent has a thing for saving baby boy pup. Baby. All his dogs are boys. Look it. Oh my goodness. I do not want any more little dogs. Never again. But he's so cute. He's so shy. Oh my goodness. You're adorable. Look at his nose is getting closer and closer to my mouth. He's like, oh, I will lick you. He's so cute. Can't wait to hear the story on him. Oh, you're so pretty. My girls are getting their horses ready. They're gonna be so jealous. Okay, go back to sleep and pretend I didn't touch you, okay? Pretend I didn't touch you. He is so cute. Let's see if Sophie noticed. I love him. I just love him. Hey, Gino. I picked him right up. You're not allowed to. I did. Did you see it? No. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. What? What? Look at it. No, Happy no. birthday, Gabby. Wait, no. is it Brandon's birthday? It's for your birthday. It's not mine. <laughs> it is. Are you okay with that? No. <laughs> you don't like it? I don't like it. I like my border collie. Plus, there are no. Frank, because <laughs> you said we're not getting another That's dog. That's right. We're not ever getting another dog. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that was a good. It looks like a border collie. It's a boy. Brandon only oh, gets like boy puppies. He's terrified of me. <laughs> Everybody's terrified of you. It's a dashend. Dashend. Okay, put him back. All right, so this My is- My friend makes so much food. So this is the new lady at the barn, sort of new lady, and she brought food officially. Officially in. Officially yeah. in. <laughs> it's Italian Roca. It is amazing. Italian Roca. Yeah. Do I get to try it? Oh yeah, it's from the barn. She made All right, let's get it. Fiona will like it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
Just like a score bar, so yummy. Mm. Isn't he adorable? We saw him, what's he for? It's fine. You like, you're owning him? Yeah. Oh my God. Wait, what's his name? His name's Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> K-E-V-I-N. <laughs> Hi. Storm's mad. He keeps walking to the gate saying, I'm coming, I'm coming, but you're not coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not your turn, you had a ride yesterday. Yeah, this is what happens when you bring a purse to the barn. You set it down in the poop, like any horse mom. So you can pick up all of his hay. That makes me so sad. I'm putting all of his hay, lifting it up off the ground, putting it back in his bucket. And he reached over and he smelled me. Like he's like, stay here with me. Or he's out, or else he's like, bring me treats. <laughs> is that what you want? You just want treats? Everybody's unhappy. Gidget's over there calling for Chino. Nobody can live without him, and Storm wants Finn. Or us, right, Stormy? He got wet today, I'm sorry about that. Did, he's like, don't look at me, if you won't take me. <laughs> he's giving me a guilt trip. Oh, he likes to reach down and get the wet stuff. 